Well, there are some deterrents in place to keep vaping products out of children's hands, but as you know, they find a way to get what they want. Our legal analyst Jeff Hosford is joining us tonight to talk a little bit more about it. Jeff, thanks for being here. Thanks for having me. So are there any restrictions on uh, businesses, stores that sell vaping products um, in terms of selling them to children? Yeah, uh, the state law of Mississippi is the same state law as it is for tobacco. They've raised that to 21 years of age. Obviously, there's uh, many people that get around that law. Uh, and they, there's children are using these cigarettes or vaping is what they call it. Um, the problem is nobody knows what the long-term effects of these, these items are and how they will affect younger people. So any laws that are in place, let's say a store sells it to someone, are they uh, required to ask for uh, some sort of identification before they sell to customers? Yes, ma'am, they are. They're required to get an ID. Uh, and if they don't get an ID, they could be subject to fines and penalties by the local authorities who, who may run sting operations to determine which ones are selling these items to kids. As we heard the nurse practitioners say there in the piece, they're finding uh, more unique ways to hide them, so parents just have to be on the lookout. Yeah, obviously, uh, with the simplicity of a vapor, vapor product, I mean, obviously, it's very easy for someone to use and you not to be aware of it. Um, the biggest thing is they can be small, they can be disguised as other items, and once that happens, it's hard for people to recognize what it is. Uh, the best thing I could tell anybody is talk to your children, tell them the risk, perhaps show them some pictures of what happens to people that smoked for years. We don't really have that with vape cigarettes, but uh, being around an oxygen chamber for the rest of your life for 20 years is probably not what most people want to do. They don't think about it at 20, but at 60, that is a reality for a lot of people that smoked. Absolutely. There's good lessons to learn there. Jeff, we appreciate your perspective of all. As always, thanks so much. Thank you.